Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving into XRP to see exactly what is going on with the price action. We can see that there is some more volatility and we should expect some price fluctuations in the very near future. We're going to get into this technical analysis on the daily and the hourly, keep it pretty slim line and just give you the headlines of what I'm expecting to happen next here with XRP. As we get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit that like button, I really do appreciate that. If you uh, are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto right with that said done and out of the way let's dive right down into this daily chart and see what's going on here with xrp so as we can see that have got some volatility that we've been experiencing pretty much since we hit the 618 area of the chart just up here okay and uh, we can obviously see that bitcoin was the main driver between you know basically finding this resistance bitcoin pulling us down finding this downward trend just here. And obviously we've been consolidating around our support of $1.07 for quite some time. We then started to see a significant pullback where we then started to find that our 93 cent area was a support line for us. And again, um, we can see that we are continuing to fall back down a little bit further. Uh, we actually have come down now to 88 cent uh, and then we started to see a bit of a bounce back to the upside just recently over here. Now on this uh, chart, we obviously see that the six, Two six, uh, two three six, I should say, um, area of the Fibonacci retracement tool running from the high area and the double tap at the low. And um, this, so basically, a high coming in at one ninety six, and our double tap at the low area comes in at fifty cent. This 236 area of 85.2 is also an area that we've come in line, uh, in contact with with our downward trend line, as you can see here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, zoom in on this area so we can get a, a bit of a view, a uh, better view of what's going, going on, right? So we can see her 93 cent area acting as a bit of resistance right now. Okay, we had the wicks that were going below it, but we weren't closing below it. And, and until where basically yesterday we closed below this area. Now trying to fight our way up there, but not really getting too much traction. Um, so the 88 cent area is the support lines at the moment uh, and again we are looking to potentially pull back even maybe even lower than this in the very near future um, so we're mindful over the small small time volatility on this daily chart and um, yeah we'll get into the hourly in a moment and um, but basically Bitcoin and uh, you know is kind of leading the way to a degree and what we're waiting for really is a bit of a decoupling to happen in this uh, this bull run now it's a bit too early in my opinion to see that decouple um, you know, fully. And so we are still kind of tethered to the way that Bitcoin moves, right? Um, but ultimately, I do think that we are going to see an interesting move here um, in the near future for XRP, like we saw back in 2017, where we saw a parabolic run towards the end of the bull run when we do get that decoupling. Overall, we've still got a fair bit of progress to have first, right? Our expectations on Bitcoin is still to go above 100k. Uh, we do see a, a cup and handle pattern forming, which could take Bitcoin up to 67k in the month of October. And if uh, Bitcoin does move up, then you can expect that uh, pretty much most of these altcoins will also move up to the upside as well. And um, so for, for XRP right now, we obviously are finding this resistance. The stochastic RSI is in the midway point, which means it has uh, you know equal room to fall down as well as up on the daily chart. Um, so overall, there's still a lot of volatility. It's been uh, one of those things that we've seen for quite some time now. And pretty much since we kind of got up here at the early end of September, around the 7th of September, right? Bitcoin's volatility, the regurgitation of old FUD, uh, you know, around China, central bank, um, claiming that uh, you know Bitcoin transactions should be illegal, not that they are illegal. And uh, again, something that you've seen circulated around, I think it was like the 2nd of September originally kind of was was put out there, but uh, didn't really get too much traction. And um, they regurgitated it again, loads of fear, um, uncertainty and doubt in the space and um, causing, you know, people to think that, uh, you know, the market's completely falling down, etc. Now, I rely on technicals. I am looking at multiple different scenarios where we could see uh, you know, Bitcoin and uh, you know, its alt markets pull back. Um, I'm yet to find one that I can kind of rely on and say, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. But I am continuously looking. I would like to see some way to verify the claims of so many people. With that being said, at the moment, what I can see is, is volatility in the smaller time frames. Um, but I can, of course, see on the larger time frames pretty good structure that still looks like it's uh, you know moving nicely to the upside overall. The month of September is always a volatile one. We saw this last year. We saw but, uh, the year before that and of course we do see it this year as well it's almost self-fulfilling when everyone expects september to be a month of pullbacks that they 
uh, basically make it a month of pullbacks by selling um, at the top, for example, um, bringing in the, the downward trend that uh, they, they believe is coming by causing it themselves. Overall, um, right now, uh, with the volatility that we are seeing, the resistance that we're finding here, the midway point on our stochastic RSI, this daily chart is not exactly looking the strongest right now. And um, so what I am expecting a little bit more volatility to occur here in the next few days. Um, and so at this point, we're going to jump over to the Avai dashboard. The Avai dashboard, there's a link in the description below. And um, here you're able to utilize the uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning of evi.io to help you understand the underlying value of a cryptocurrency. And in this case, we're taking a look at XRP. XRP is currently a B2 rating. And um, here we can see uh, a little bit more of a breakdown from that generalized B2 rating. OK, so you get an idea as a, I mean, a bit of a flavor to how the liquidity is doing, how the profitability is doing. What is it fearful? Is it greedy? All that kind of good stuff. And um, so we're going to dive into this for a second. So um, we can see that the fear and greed index for xrp is a rating of d which means it's extremely fearful okay so a lot of fear in the space for xrp holders right now we can see the ami had ratio is an a2 so plenty of liquidity liquidity is not a problem for xrp right now the moving averages have been affected with the recent downward trend and is represented as a c2 so overall our moving averages are not the best right now we can see the peak end value demand is at a b2 uh, we can see the profitability is an A1. And again, when you move up from 17 cent to over a dollar, yeah, the profitability is looking pretty good. Um, and again, over here, we have uh, A2 rating for the sharp ratio, right? The sharp ratio is your risk reward ratio, the risk to holding XRP versus the rewards of holding XRP. We're above the 50 day average uh, here, but uh, it's getting close, right? We touched on the line briefly here. And um, so we'll have to just monitor that situation. Are we likely to pull down below the 50 day average anytime soon? But right now, the risk reward ratio is in our favor um, so overall there's uh, some interesting things that are going on here we obviously have a fear and greed index that's extremely fearful uh, we have plenty of liquidity we have really good profitability we have a sharp ratio that's in our favor and uh, moving averages are a concern obviously in line with our fear and greed index so again there's 70 seems to be um, the sentiment in the space that's not favorable for XRP right now as in there is a lot of fear the fear has affected the averages of uh, of the pricing of XRP, um, but otherwise the actual other underlying data, such as the current profitability is up there really well, uh, with sharp ratio is looking pretty good, and uh, there is no problem with the liquidity either. So overall, um, it's a B2 rating, and that kind of makes a lot of sense, kind of midway point, uh, neutral, if you will, overall. Um, but we have to accept that there is going to be volatility with so much fear in the space. When we jump back to the charts and we jump into our hourly view this is where you start to see that volatility really coming into its own okay so most recently uh if i actually just make this a little bit smaller uh, we can see the pullback that we had pulling us down into this area just down here this was back at the uh you know 20th or so of uh, of september now this yellow box area was my kind of expectation for if i wanted to buy more xrp where would i be buying it it'll be inside this area here my expectation was that we would basically drop into it and come right back out again in a similar way that we had seen with these two wicks here however my expectation now considering where we are and uh, you know with the volatility the fear that's in the space is that actually xrp is going to pull back into this area looking at the 88 cent area as a good support line like we previously saw over here okay so right now considering the fact that we are overbought um, on this stochastic RSI, considering that we are just above our 93 cent area of uh, you know of, uh, of support here, um, we are likely to lose this support. And uh, in doing so, that will become our resistance, and we'll be looking to find new support on our journey to the downside. Now, we can uh, look at the chart here and we can say, okay, there's plenty of areas of support on that journey. There's no guarantee that we'll go down as low as 88 cent. Um, but we should be accepting the fact that we are likely to come into this yellow box. This yellow box area starts out uh, at, if I get on the line, at 91.6 cent. Okay, so I think we should be expecting to come into this area. Whether we go down to 90 or whether we go down all the way to, to you know, 88 cent and then move our way back up, you know, is the thing that we're going to have to monitor over time. There are a few areas of support, but they're not very strong. Um, so we can take a look. That is one here at 90.6. That's uh, actually not too bad. And um, we go down a little bit lower. Um, and there's one around here at about 90 exactly. And um, so 90 cents is an interesting zone. Uh, I think there's a possible you know, bounce from that point. 
um, and again, maybe towards that uh, that 89. There's a, there's a few different areas here, but the strongest one out of all of them is going to be the 88. So I don't expect us falling down any lower than 88. Um, if we can bounce out of here at about 90.6, that would be a pretty good area because then we're just wicking in and then we're moving out. So there's an opportunity in that if we choose to see it that way. Okay, for, for traders, uh, obviously I'm not a trader, but uh, if I were, that's where I'm going to be placing my buy for that bounce and then the sell, okay? Um, just to kind of, uh, you know, scrape some profits along this journey um, as we see this volatility, right? And we, we buy low, we sell high. Uh, we buy low, we sell high, okay? Um, so overall on this chart, we are looking pretty good. And we have to understand that where we are right now is a, a, a pivotal moment to see, um, you know, resistance uh, overbought. Um, so looking to get that back down, get that corrected. With the fear in the space, I think the sentiment should be that we're looking to pull down. Um, hopefully we won't go as low as 88, but if we do, there's a fantastic opportunity to maximize those gains on the way up uh, and then sell uh, up the top here, waiting for the next set of volatility to see exactly what's going on. Obviously, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but this is what I would be doing if I were a trader. Um, personally, I just don't have a lot of time for, for trading. It's quite a stressful job as well. So um, that being said, though, um, you know, my expectations are there is volatility here still on the smaller time frame um overall the structure on the you know on the daily and, and the weekly they, they are what they are and um, they are still looking pretty good uh you know considering everything that's going on with xrp i am still expecting at least six dollars um 60 on the xrp chart um that's pretty much based on current performance and that should be where we start to see things really rise up to in the very near future overall and um, so guys i'm going to leave this video there hopefully you have found it useful and informative if you have hit that like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one